just kind of messing on me. The wind's blowing right in my face. It'd be nice to get down over the hill, but on a day like today, I'm just coming out because I have a treasure hunting YouTube channel. Come out here and stay as long as I can take it. Um, try to find some marbles. I'm right on a marble, vintage marble throwaway. Yesterday in the pouring rain, I found a real nice Coke bottle and a toy and some marbles. So give it a shot. One nice marble, I'm gonna be happy. I found a real nice layer in here. I'm not digging right on the throwaway. I'm gonna dig over here because it's so wet. But I'll chop some of these roots out and try to see. It's the reason why it's good. It's been raining and I'm on the side of a real steep slant right here. You see, I'm hitting, if I pop a marble out of there, I should be able to see it. See, there's trash in here, so we'll see. I'll dig here, it's colder today and it's snowing, not raining, so at least I won't be wet. But I'm cold, my hands are cold already. I'll stay till, see look, there's a tiny little, wow, that's cool. There's a lot of fun. Yeah. I've never seen this one. It's a little glass perfume probably. Take that. That's awesome. And it just left that on. You see all the farther. Three or four more rakes in the hole. Got a marble already. And I'd say it's a master marble brush patch by looking at this with a blue base. And hopefully it is nice because these are hard to find. Folks, this so far, I mean, wow. This is a day maker already. Oh, this is maybe the nicest one ever, just on first glance. Oh, folks. Well, this is awesome. There's blue, like wisp, see, striations, dark earth blue through the clear blue base. Just a killer Master Marble Company brush patch. Look at it. Wow. Well, here to a light source, see the darker blue through that. Oh, this is so nice. There's the white patch. That's so nice, folks. Look at it. All right, if you have marbles, this is the site you want. I'll put a link to it in the top of the description of this upload. Master Marble Company, Master Glass Company, made glass and marbles between 1930 and 1973. It talks all about it here it's real interesting this site you want to read the stuff and here's the marbles here's the masters here's a brush patch right here and that's one of the dark green ones they almost look black but it's dark green glass i found many of them then you come down here look there mine's even nicer than this brush patch right there is like the marble i found Mine's got that striated blue through it. I like it better than this one. And that's the marble of that type for and color for the website. So, real nice. Real nice find. Yeah, there's another compact. I'll see if I can't get this cleaned up. Probably has something on it, too. Nice this is. I'm raking up in behind this tree. There's cans. Look. Caps. Now, look at this. There's a real nice old lipstick, and these ones are marked on the top. It's someplace in California, I think. That's a nice one, though. It's old. Yeah, look how nice that cleaned up. All I used was wire brush. There'd still be lipstick residue in it. Look at that nice patina. I left some of it, but let's see what it is. I forget. Max Factor, Hollywood. Right there. I have, like, probably a half a dozen of these. But, man, that's a nice one. Put it in a case. Hopefully this ain't messed up. We got a plastic figure. I haven't found one for a while right in here around the lipstick. Just a place on a day like today. Look, between these trees. Have never dug right here. All the way down, right in this little triangle. Look here. What is that? What the heck is that? What the heck? I don't recognize this. What is that? Yeah, you can see what that is now. It's a monkey. And I'd say this is from a Mark's place at a circus when they made in the 1940s and 50s. That is awesome, folks. Wow. 
Well, we're in the dump find room, all these shelves of stuff I've dug on dumps, and you see right here, right there's a little rubber figure, and it's a snake charmer. See the snake, the, the cobra, and he's playing, that's from that circus place at Mark's. And I'd say that little monkey is too. There's all kinds of pieces. It's just an awesome place. That little dogs and I found lots of them. Well, there's the snake charmer up close. See the cobra there. Look at that. It's old Mark's plastic from the 1950s. That's so cool. Standing down here, there used to be dirt right up to here. I've taken all of this off below. But I'm just standing here. I'm going to look right here and then I'm going to go because I'm freezing. I thought that was a marble, but it's not. See what I'm doing here? I'm just raking through this stuff. You want to clean all these. No, I don't want to get dirt down in my boots. Cleaning all these roots out so I can see as I go. Pulling them out with my hands usually. All right, I'll get back if I see anything here. Look. It's not marbles. It's seeds. What are them? Huh. Look at them. They're black. Yeah, it's like carnival glass. It says a penny saved is a penny earned bank. Probably got busted open to see what was in it. Get the money out. It's the Liberty Bell, too. That would have been a nice ACL drinking glass. It's got like a 1950s Santa on it. Too bad on that. Nice layer in here. I'm gonna find one more thing to get. That on went a little farther. Pulled this bottle out, said I'm gonna find one more thing and go, and I've never found this. What is this? Some kind of soda, I think. Golden Age. I've never seen that. Man, that's a nice looking bottle. I wonder Youngstown, Ohio. Golden Age. What the heck? That's got to be a $20. Oh, it's even dated. 1937. That is a $20 bottle. It's got that rib neck. It says patent office on it. Youngstown, Ohio. And then it says Akron. Akron and Youngstown. That's the double whammy. That's a nice bottle. Golden Age right there. You can see it. I got to do some more cleaning on this. But it's pretty. It's There's no cracks or chips of any kind. Akron, Ohio. Youngstown, Ohio. And then the base. 1937. You can see the glass maker's mark. Look at that water deposits on it. I can soak this in muriatic acid. It's a pretty nice soda. I've never seen it. Never found one of these before. The days, this might be whole. Look here. Right there's a crock. A jug with a handle on it. It's just one of the, oh, it's busted. Right there, you can see it, but man, I almost had a crock. It's stuck right in them roots. Too bad on that. See, an old stoneware jug. Whole back's busted out of it, look. You it had something in it that melted. Lard or something, I don't know. I can't take no more, I'm too cold. Too bad on the crock, but I got other stuff that was awesome. So, man, I can't believe I found a brush patch. Hopefully that is perfect. Look here, folks. It's old Dog Bubby. Dog Bubby had to get bathed up, and I'm telling you what, that looks like some mighty dirty bath water to me. Was you rolling in stuff outside again when I wasn't looking? Hey. Was you rolling in goose poop outside? I think you might have been. That water's dirty. Uh-oh. Look at this little girl fakes. Dog Bubby's getting a bath. Well, I'll keep looking. The river's real high, but it's... I don't know if it's going to rain anymore or not. Hopefully not. I should be able to keep on the stuff. See you on the next one. Yeah.